This is Steve Williams with Sentinel Emergency Solutions. I want to talk to you today about one of our newest deliveries for the Ken Mundy Fire Protection District. This is a Rosenbauer Commander. This truck is a 2,500 gallon pumper tanker. This truck features a Cummins X12 engine. We have a 2,500 gallon water tank. As we come through the uh, cab area, you can see we have an 18 inch raised cab with a 65 inch length. Moving into the pump compartment area, we have a series of three pre-connects ready to go. As you can see through our pump body area, all the controls are color coded. A really cool feature, we have an overview of the top of the truck where all the pre-connects are and different discharges. As we lift this guy, we have a 360 camera system built into the truck. So as you're pumping the truck, you can see all three or four sides of the truck. Kind of a neat little feature we did here. As we move throughout the body, all of the entire body came to Sentinel empty. Our guys here at uh, Sentinel did a custom shelving layout on this truck. So everything you see here was truly custom for what the customer wanted. A lot of thought goes into the layout of these trucks. So you can see everything on the truck has a special little place. Pretty nice. So on this truck, we have a chute that comes out of the back so they can use it in the tanker capacity. Again, this one does have 2,500 gallons of water on it. Got another neat little step on the back of this truck. Just kind of helps you get up and off the top. We have uh, dual direct tank fills, another nice feature for this guy to help refill it. Again, custom shelving. So this is something that's very popular anymore. So this whole compartment's all rescue. This is a rotisserie. So you can see you can spin once uh, you have the rescue tools mounted to it. You can do a 360 on this guy and get out the proper tool that you're looking for. Oh, you gotta push it in and goes right back in. So another cool thing here, you can see everything uh, electrically or battery operated has its own charging station. So we have bank chargers that are all set up, ready to go. Same over here with the rescue batteries for the Hearst equipment. Nothing in there right now. Again, we have uh, another nice feature right here is this guy. This is a little cooler that we do a lot on these trucks now. So you just basically bring this up. You got a nice little fridge and a little bit of a freezer section to it, but you can keep drinks nice and cold on those nice days that are hot during the summer. Again, this is the officer side of the uh, pump house. You can see the LDH, the intake, everything's nice and clean in here. We got pack tracks so they can mount different fittings and so forth on that wall. Coming up here again, you have the three different pre-connects. This uh, will most likely be pre-connected in this hose well. And as we move to the front of the truck, show you what we did on the front. We have an extended front bumper that is customized. And you can see down in here on this side, we have a trash fire line or car fire line, whatever you'd like to prefer it called. Over here, we have the, uh, the foam system. So it's pre-connected and everything's ready to go underneath the bumper. Pretty nicely laid out. Okay guys, as we come into the cab, I was gonna show you how this one's all laid out. So this is the aluminum dash. Um, we have also our composite dash. They chose to go with the aluminum dash. This one has driver and officer Vista screens. In the center, we have the uh, AM FM radio, traffic advisor, and the siren. And eventually, they're going to put their fire truck, actual uh, fire radio, in that location. Uh, our guys in the shop at Sentinel basically laid all the uh, flashlights out, the tick, 
all their walkie chargers. So everything's laid out and uh, ready to go for them. In the back we have four SCBA seats. Okay guys, so on this truck, this truck has a large water tank. So the ladders, we have to put them somewhere. So on this truck we chose the ladder rack. So with that being said, I will show you we have the Rosenbauer ladder rack, so it comes off to the side of the body. We can do these ladder racks on either the driver's side or the officer's side of the truck, depending on you know what you would choose. So you can see as the rack comes down, uh, basically the rack itself is all stainless steel and aluminum. Should last for quite some time. So this particular truck has a 24, 14, and 10, as far as ground ladders go. Inside the pocket where the ladders stow, you can see that whole area on top is all linexed. Okay guys, in closing, uh, I just want to give a special thanks to Chief Kevin Day of the Ken Mundy Fire Protection District. Uh, Chief Day is uh, one of our Sentinel employees. However, I feel uh, very honored to have done this truck for him and the department. It's been a, a really neat uh, truck for us to work on together. Uh, this is going to be a truck that will last him for quite some time. and. Uh, if you guys uh, see anything on this truck that you like, get a hold of us, social media, call us, uh, those kind of things, and we'll get you all the information on this truck. And uh, if you need anything else, please visit us at our website and our Facebook site. Again, I'm Steve Williams with Sentinel Emergency Solutions. Thanks for watching.